Hello everyone, my name is Luis Dentinho, this is my friend and student Joe. Today I would like to demonstrate the Z-Hack God system. Okay, but first I would like to show you uh, how the top person can like control the bottom person on the hack guard. So can you lay down please? So I'm going to show basic rules right here, okay? So right here, the top person, they need to keep the opposite shoulder flat on the ground. So if I do this, I need to face into him. Okay? One easy example right here is going to be if he tries to take my back. He needs my body facing straight. So right here, he can come and it's going to be safe for him. Come back, please. As soon as I face my body toward his upper shoulder, come. I have a guillotine. I have head control on the hook. It's much better for me. Just this movement right here. Okay? One thing happen a lot is going to be the Z-Half guy. From here, he created a Z half guard, okay? This is going to be like very hard for me to put his other shoulder on the ground. And then people start making this grip. Control the pants, column, elbow on the ground, sprawl, and then start passing the guy. The technique that I would like to show today is on top of this guard pass. Okay, so can you go on me, please? So right here, guys, I'm going to start on the, okay, on the Z half guard. So Joe, he wants to control the bottom leg and then the column, all right? So right here, when we, when we have this position, most of the people, or they put the knee right here, or they cross the leg. Right here, guys, it's very easy for him to put the weight, and then right now, look, I'm stuck here. I get too much pressure on my hip. Come back, please. So right here, I like to use my knee or my opponent's hip bone. The reason is, if I need to protect my bottom leg, this bottom leg, guys, is like, I need to keep my bottom leg alive so I can move, okay? He want to stop the bottom leg. One good way is gonna be doing this. So right here, look, if, if my top leg is ahead of my bottom leg, it's gonna be easy grip for him. So always I keep the top leg behind the bottom leg. Try to make a grip. Right now, it's much harder for him, okay? Second thing I need to do is don't let him face his body to me. Right here. So come back, please. So as soon as he tries to make this grip, I hold his tricep. Right now, I control his shoulder. So right now, he don't have control of, of my bottom leg, and I don't let him face into me. So right now, look, I have control of the situation. It's when I'm going to kick my leg right here, look, boom. Escape my knee, and then I bring my knee up. As you see, guys, the first technique is going to be the monoplata shoulder lock. His elbow is going to be facing up. Okay, we have three techniques. When his elbow face up, elbow facing toward my hip, or his elbow is coming down. Okay, so right here, the first technique, his elbow is facing up, is when I'm gonna bring the bottom leg to hook the opposite leg, and then I'm going to trap his shoulder using my, my heel. Extend my upper body, elbow on the ground, control his tricep. I need his arm right here because I cross off my hip. Now look, I'm going to drive my knee down to the ground and I'm going to lift my hip up. Guys, I'm trapping his opposite leg. He cannot roll. Okay, come back please. He make a grip, I hold his tricep. One thing can happen right here is if he close the elbow, okay, it's going to be very hard if, if I try to do this. So, please, a lot of people just try to do this. I need to kick. Okay, if I'm doing this, keep your elbow tight, be strong, it's gonna be very hard for me. But look the difference, I'm going to kick so I can break the grip. Hold the game, please, strong. I kick right here. If my open body stays close, he can come close to me. Right now, look, I lose the top leg control. As soon as I trap his shoulder, open body move. Try to, try to come close, please, he cannot. I always drive the knee down. If it happens to my opponent, Take my hook out. Come a little bit to the side, please. If he take the hook out and roll, take the hook out, oh, he rolls. He's gonna still roll with him, controlling his shoulder. Come to the side, please. So right here, I'm going to use my hand to trap his wrist on my hip. Top leg, I'm going to put pressure on his shoulder. Bottom leg, I'm going to put pressure on his uh, elbow. Is when I'm going down and up and I use my hand 
to swim it. What about if he escaped the arm? That's okay, I pull the head. Then I have a straight arm lock. So from here, I have a good detail for you. If my knee facing up, he can come. Okay, come back please. So when he goes, I'm going to drop my knee toward his chest. Try to come please. Right now it's impossible. I can even do this if you don't want to pass a leg. Try to come up, it's impossible for him. Knee up, he can come. All right? So make sure that you hook the head and drop the knee. If you want to pass a leg over, go to the straight down one. The second technique, I call this a violin arm lock. Then I still meet a lot of people in the Oma Plata or this one. So right here guys, I'm going to do the same thing. I keep controlling his shoulder. You don't need to make a grip in the knee. Just like control the shoulder right here. Kick. As soon as I bring him, for him to be able to shoot to the field on Plata, he wants to push you up. Once he push you up, his elbow is going to face into my hip. Come back please. Do the same grip. I'm going there. Boom, kick. As soon as I'm healed, I trap his arm. I don't let him escape the arm. Bottom knee in the chest. Top leg on his back. Now look, I pinch my knee and move over body. Just to swim it on the arm lock. The reason I keep my knee on the chest is because if, if my knee is down, he can come. And then right now, look, I don't have the arm lock anymore. So, try to come. Right now, he don't come anymore. So I move over body. The last technique from this from this system right here, guys, I'm going to control, okay? I'm doing the same thing, kick. Always, guys, I'm trying to go for the monoplatin, okay, for, for the monoplatin. So right here, he's going to try to put the weight down right here, okay? If, if he put the weight down, now I don't have monoplatin, I don't have arm lock, okay? Because he, he should close me. So that's why bottom leg has to be alive. So right here, guys, I, I, I will keep this frame right here. Knee up, and then I step on the ground. If I trap this arm, I need to face into that side. So I here, look, I use my foot on the ground, so I can move my hip, and then I bring him forward. Hand and hook. So I can sweep. We're going to land on this half guard right here, okay? It's so why I'm going to use the back leg, okay? Get the free leg, strap the hip over my knee. I swing my leg, Go below his knee is when I can sprawl facing to the same direction that my opponent is facing. Try to trap my leg, please. Trap strong. So right here, guys, I go back, open knee. Trap, please. Strong. Now, look, no way he can trap. Look, I, I use my hip. If my hip is straight, if it's strong, please, it's going to be very hard for me to get. So make sure, guys, you guys use this. Look, right here. Again, trap strong. I use this leg. So then I go straight to side control. All right, guys, thank you very much. And uh, I hope you guys can make this work again, okay, guys, in training competition. And uh, don't forget to, to leave me a like, okay, comment. Let me know if you want to learn something, something like, like something special. If I know, I can, I can make a next video for you. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? Thank you. Peace.